So I had to come up in here and give y'all the tea. My name is JJ. I am a beauty content creator, but I am a multifaceted human being who has been in love with gymnastics since 1992. So I'm going I'm here to give you the tea. So you must be like, why did Simone post this picture yesterday? Like, I don't understand where this came from. So let me break it down to you. Let me introduce you to Michaela Skinner. Michaela Skinner only has one Olympic medal, which is not bad. But it only she only got that medal because Simone had the twisties in the 2020 Olympics and could not perform. And she took, she, Simone basically gave her this spot for the vault final and she won the silver medal. The on, that's the only reason why Michaela has that medal. But we got to take it back a little bit further. We're going to take it back to 2016. Because this is the first time that we know of that Michaela put her, her foot in her mouth. Now, this particular photo is of the final five. And who's missing from this picture? Gabby Douglas. So this is what happened in the 2016 gymnastics trials. Uh, Michaela finished ahead of Gabby. Gabby had had some issues on the balance beam and had fallen twice. Both days fell off. And so she finished below Michaela Skinner. But at the time, it was Marta Caroli who was running the program. And Gabby, the year before that in 2015, was the silver all around champion behind. Uh, Simone, and then she was also on the team that won the gold medal at the World Championships. And Gabby had did well all year long. She was the American Cup champion. She did well all year long, so she really deserved her Olympic spot, even though she fell off um, the balance beam. Pretty much everybody agreed, except for a couple of people who don't watch gymnastics and some uh, people... I'm going to call them white supremacists who just don't know anything about the sport. And Michaela, one of her little minions, photoshopped her over Gabby's body. And she was throwing some racist tweets and retweeted them. It was a big controversy. And to be quite honest, they should have shut her down from then. But nobody really said anything. Um... And I, yeah, nobody really said anything. Gabby didn't really check her. And Gabby was getting a lot of shade during this time. People was talking about her hair. After they won the Olympics, the 2016 Olympics, um, Gabby had another controversy because she didn't put her hand on her heart over the national anthem. The white supremacists went crazy. So nobody checked Michaela during this time, even though she was acting a fool. But you know what? God is good. God is good. So fast forward to 2024. And once again, Michaela put her foot in her mouth again. And this is what she says. This was a Huffington. I think this was an Huff, a Huffington Post um, interview that she did. And she said, besides Simone, I feel like the talent and the depth just isn't that what it used to be. Just notice, like, I mean, obviously a lot of girls don't work as hard. The girls don't have the work ethic. So she threw major shade on the girls. And I'm like, first of all, y'all don't even understand how hard it is to be a gymnast on that elite level. There are other gymnastic categories like this level 10 it goes in levels elite is the highest level to even get to elite the kind of work you have to do is like i wish i could have been a gymnast as a kid but i didn't really have the funds and i found out too late but to the it takes at least 10 years to get on the level some of these girls are on like you just don't get there and subsequently marta caroli stepped down she's the wife of uh, Bella Caroli, they ran the program for many, many years. It was a lot of controversy. Larry Nasser was in the fold and a lot of people said she knew, Martyr knew about it and they never could protect the girl. So, you know, it was just a string of like, we need to separate ourselves from the Martyr, the Bella Caroli, Caroli era. So I guess she's used to that, um, 
abuse because a lot of people like Dominique which I know if you guys don't know who she is I could do a separate video she came out and said they you know the Carolis abused her it was a lot of stuff the Carolis right now their reputation is shattered like nobody is fucking with them right now so for her to say this knowing what's going on what happened with Larry Nasser, like it's crazy like she would even put her foot in her mouth like that but I'm not surprised because she's been doing this. She did this 10 years ago and nobody checked. At least nobody of substance. So now we have this situation where Gabby said, I mean, not Gabby, excuse me. Simone says lack of talent, lazy <laughs> picture. Like, yes, yes. Everybody was like, why is she throwing shade? Yes. I'm glad Simone took the time and did that. And look how many likes it has. 2 million, 2.8 million. Now, I, yeah, 2.8 million. That shade needed to be thrown, and it was thrown at the right time, okay? And you you shitted on Gabby, Michaela. You shitted on the other girls, and you did all this. You was retweeting all kind of racist shenanigans, and, and we know that was in the past, but nobody checked you. Now you got checked. So subsequently, after Michaela had made her little comments, uh, Simone had put on her page, not everyone needs a mic and a platform. And we all know that. We just definitely need to increase the prices of microphones because some of y'all just put your foot in your mouths as much as possible for clicks and views. And I don't know, Michaela now is a influencer. She has a YouTube channel. So, but one of my homies on YouTube, a friend in my head checked her. If you want to support a black content creator who focuses on gymnastics, definitely go follow Gymlandia. Um, he does have a podcast called um, Gymnastics for Niggas. Yes, for black people. Um, so yeah, he did humble Michaela Skinner in this video. So if y'all want to watch, it's Ratchet. He's Ratchet. <laughs> I, I think I said the wrong name of the pot. I think he said uh, Ratchet Gymnastics for Nick, something like that. But it's funny as hell. He's hilarious and reads people down. So definitely go support his, um, YouTube channel because he checked her. We all tried to check her, but I'm glad the Queen B checked her. And she will be quiet from now on because somebody blocked her. I know who blocked her. <laughs> be quiet. It's quiet for you right now. Okay? You were a gymnast. You knew exactly all the things that happened, Michaela. And you went and opened your mouth and called these gymnasts lazy. You cannot be... The word lazy in gymnastics... Cannot, they're oxymorons. You can't, to be successful in gymnastics, you cannot be lazy. It's just impossible. But anyway, that's the tea, y'all. Let me know what y'all think.